Okay, so what are we doing? What's this experiment called? The galvanic cell experiment. What have we got now? Go through. Okay, we've got your zinc electrode and zinc, I believe, zinc nitrate. Yeah. Dipped in a zinc nitrate solution. Yeah, That's connected to the negative end of the voltmeter, as you can see. Then you've got the positive end connected to the copper. Uh, I, and so you've got your copper sulfate solution dipped in dipped copper nitrate. nitrate. No, no, sorry. It's not a copper nitrate. It's nitrate. It's, yeah, it's just copper metal dipped in copper sulfate solution. Copper this sulfate. is still filter paper. We'll dunk it in there. As you can see, Patrick has already taken the initiative. Wait, so when we put him in, it's going to start the reaction right away, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now this is, our think, our third or fourth video. Well, the rest of the videos will be up soon. Our video series can be bought on DVD. Yes, for free, because no one will want to pay for it. Is it long enough? Just... Yeah, there's, there's a voltmeter reading. There's a voltmeter reading? There is a voltmeter reading? There is a voltmeter reading. reading. Yeah. As you can see, it has gone up from zero to about just below five. No, it's zero. Oh, no, no, point, zero point four. You're reading using... The Sorry, zero point four. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're using the bottom. Or if we're using the top, it could be below five. But we're not. All right, okay. Okay. Let's move on. Is that it? Okay, we just dropped something. Yeah, drop it. Oh, zinc is disappearing. Zinc is disappearing. Huh? Zinc is disappearing. It's pretty cool. Wait, so, now, what, so what happens in this reaction? Zinc is being oxidized into zinc ions. Yeah. This causes a discharge of electrons that travel up the wire through the voltmeter all the way to the copper where the, the copper ions in the solution become reduced to the copper metals. And if you leave it long enough, you'll see it being very shiny. And the salt bridge is there to maintain the charge balance between the uh, zinc ions and the, sorry, the positive and the negative ions that are going in excess. That's cool, ions are going on that piece of paper. <laughs> what if we touch it? Can you get electrocuted? Okay, I just touched it. Do I look like I'm getting electrocuted? No, the insides, the water bit. But it's negligible. What are the Why on earth would we get electrocuted? Is there a power source to that thing? Yeah, this no. is a power supply. <laughs> yes, but we're not going to get electrocuted. Anyway. So yeah, that's it for that video. We shall be testing out the next one. Yeah. So what's in this one? This is... um. Copper in one end, no and what is that? Nickel. That's, it, that's nickel, that's copper. copper. And then we're about to add the salt bridge. As we're before he adds it, I will focus on bombing, oh, and you will see it increase. Okay. Didn't do anything. We got nothing. Oh, yeah, because they're pretty close, so they don't really react. They don't react much, but if you watch carefully, you would have seen that Did it move a bit at all? moved a tiny bit. So that is all from this one because the reactivity is very close. It sucks. Okay, so what do we have? Um, F, iron, iron, and iron. Okay, and, and this one is... Copper and copper salt. Wait, wait, wait. Now, before we add it, we're going to focus on the volume. Okay, now add it. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It increased. So you can't, you got it wrong. Yeah. You got the wrong solution. No. I've oh. never added that. See? That's, yeah, not, that's it's the wrong solution. We're supposed to use it for the carbon. This and we're done. So, what do we got? What do you got? Hurry up. We've got iron, the iron, and copper. Okay, and that's carbon. carbon. Okay, so we're gonna add it to one side, and before he adds it to the next one, we're going to record. Watch the volume. Oh, oh, see it? It went negative. It went negative. Okay, so that's it. That's the last one. Okay, thank you for your time. Bye bye.